Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline with Premiere Pro. And today we're going to take a look at the Project Manager, which is a great way to sort of trim out smaller projects from a much bigger project, a great way to manage media, or just clean up the project when it's all done. Here's how it works. Within your bigger project, locate a sequence or multiple items that you want to clean up. You can go ahead and control click on multiple items or just click on a single item such as a sequence. You could then choose Project, Project Manager. And this analyzes the project and opens up a window to tell you a little bit more about what your options are. You see here that it's analyzed the project and it's determined that there are several sequences within the project. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the ones that I don't want to use. In this case, only selecting the sequence called Spot. That looks good. And we have a couple of options here. I could go ahead and grab just a trimmed project, which allows me to specify handles. Now, handles delete away the media that's not used and allows you to keep a specific range. By default, this is set to 30 frames. You can increase this or decrease this depending upon the type of media and what sort of transitions or other changes you expect to make. Now, typically, I will go ahead and set this to more like 90 frames, so I've got room for trimming or dissolves. If I don't want to delete the media, I could just choose Collect Files and Copy to New Location. And this will grab all of the media files, as well as the preview and conform files from the original sequence here, and copy them to a new location. If you want, you could rename media or uncheck that box and the original names will be preserved. You then can choose a location where to store this. I recommend that you actually make a new folder for that media. And then you'll see down here, it gives you an idea of what's happening. If you want to make sure the number is accurate, choose Calculate. And it will analyze the file and come back and tell you. In this case, it's going to go down from 3.4 gigabytes of media down to the 241 megabytes that were actually used in this spot. As you see, this is a huge savings. It makes it much easier to move the project from one location to another or copy it to a backup location. When you're all set, click OK and it will start to go ahead and copy the media to the new location. Hope you enjoyed this episode. My name is Rich Harrington, and this is Video Adrenaline for Premiere Pro. You can find lots more over at creativecow.net, including forums, a magazine, and tons of videos and tutorials to help you out. Thanks again. <laughs>